Hi guys, welcome to this video. I'm going to go through with you today the how I got on at the Scottish Takeover 2, the event I've just got back from. Still absolutely pumped, amazing event. Um, I've taken some footage of before my games and after my games, so you get an opportunity to kind of see how the event went. So what I'm going to do is in, in a minute I'm going to dive into the footage. If you want to know detail of the list and exactly the tactics behind the list um, and a little bit of the build up content, what I'll do is I'll put a link in the description below to my last uh, Wargaming Weekly, uh, which was last Thursday, where in the chat and everything I go through a real in-depth detailed look at my army, uh, what units I took, why I took them, um, and I talk a little bit about the event in preparation. So if you're interested in that side of it, then please do jump over to that video. It's, it's a quite a long video, it's an hour long video, um, but there should be some interesting stuff in there as well around the new uh, Tyranny Codex. It's a fun video, a good one to kind of um, listen to while you do some painting. And as always, please do, if you don't mind, um, chuck a thumbs up and if possible, sub to the channel. It helps me tons and tons and tons um, and I really, really do appreciate it. So anyway, without any further ado, um, what we'll do in a second, we're going to dive in to the first day, which was the Saturday. Um, got up, um, really, really nice area of the world it is. So it's right, um, sort of about an hour and a half outside um, Aberdeen, Scotland. Um, uh, very very picturesque, beautiful place to go and play uh, and play and play 40k. Really lovely crowd of people as well. Very different um, sort of styles and skills. So you've got some sort of beginning pl beginner players. You've got some um, really really top competitive players, and you've got anything everything in between. Um, lovely lovely venue. Tables really really good. Um, and yeah, let's jump into it and uh, and see how I got on. <laughs> Hi guys, Acefix back and this is the first game at the Scottish Takeover 2. Um, I'm playing my Nurgle as you would know by now. And our first round I'm against Ashton Militarum um, and um, this is going to be a very, very cool game. So lots of shooting. Um, I didn't get first turn so I am definitely going to take some pain. Um, but we'll see what happens. We've got some uh, Ratlins up front there, some uh, good sort of uh, anti-character uh, damage there. We've got some good range. So yeah, I'm going to have to see whether I can weather a storm. Um, and and we will uh, go into turn one. I'll come back at the end of the game and let you know how, how we've got on. Right guys, so end of game one. Um, and yes, it is a success for the Demons. Uh, they have taken their first victory. Um, a really, really fun game against a very cool Astra Militarum um, list. And the end score was on the... Um, the scoring for the Champions mission was 34 to Demons and 16 to the Astra Militarum. And to let you know, Mortarian did go down without causing any damage turn 2, but he did manage to take a hell of a lot of damage. So basically what happened was um, I pretty much slung him in and the rest of the army sloped on forward. We did some damage with Smite, we weathered a lot of the storm. Um, Tim did very well to take out Mortarian. Um, uh, but he was very pinned in by then, managed to get a quite early charge in with a few units, held him up and the decimators absolutely ruined his heavy hitters. Once they were gone I stopped him from uh, getting in too close to me and, uh, and, that, and that, was, that was it as I said. So, uh, so Tim, enjoy the game. Yeah, it was really good. Uh, I fought them before, so it's nice to try it out. Uh, great army, it's like really fun to play against. Yeah, I like the increased in as well. Yeah, so Tim's saying that even after the fact I had a four up. To Gusty resilience at the end, so he's a true gentleman, so I appreciate that too. Um, and he's pretty new to Astra Militarum as well, um, in, the new, in the new decks. I mean, he's a veteran player, but in far as, new, as the new rules, still getting to grips with them. So I think this list will do well going forward as he gets more and more used to it. It's a really fun, good list, lots of options, lots of abilities, so no doubt it will do well as we go forward. Um, and yeah, we'll go on to the next game. Right guys, we're back at game number two. Um, I am playing Demon, so we have a Demon off. It's a very matched army, so this should be very, very interesting. Um, it's quite close to what I'm used to practicing I guess, against playing Chris so much, so that is in my favour. I do know the army pretty damn well. Um, and I am playing Dave from Wargames himself, um, so um, it's cool to play someone as well that I uh, spend a lot of time with and haven't had a chance to play, so that should be good fun as well. Um, so yeah, it should be good. Um, Dave did get the right role, so he is going second, which is exactly what he wants. We both were trying to fight for second place, which is quite strange, um, but both the way these armies work is that kind of suits us down to the ground. 
Um, so it's going to be really, really interesting. I mean, place your bets now, guys, because I think this is going to be close. Um, we've basically got four objectives on the board, um, and there is a bonus objective for scoring each other's main objective, which is that one there for Dave, and this one here for me. It's going to be an interesting game. Wish me luck. We're going in. Round two. Ding, ding. Off we go. Right, guys. So we come back at the end of game two, and what an absolute marathon. Um, incredible, incredible game. Loads of casualties, death everywhere. Um, brutal, brutal stuff. And um, in the end, it came down to two points, and the Zinch Demons just took it really, really marginally. But because of the way that the ITC Champions missions work, actually, just a two point margin is so inconsiderate, in insignificant, that actually that does not take us out of the running and actually probably put us, puts us on quite a good trajectory um, to avoid some of the top players. So, um, really, really good result, in fact, for the Demons against one of my hardest matchups. The incredible pre mission. Mortarion was an absolute beast. He was cutting Demon Princes down left, right, and centre. We played it really clever against Dave, who is an awesome, awesome player. Dave is a, um, a really, really good player, he knows what he's doing. Um, and we had to play this smart and actually a two point loss against a very very hard resilient army I will take, um, it does keep us in the hunt still um, and all to play for so wish us luck as we go into game three and um, see how we get on. Right guys, we're into game three um, and we're playing Eldar, playing quite an elite Eldar army with a lot in deep strike reserve. So we've got fire dragons that are going to be dropping in. Um, we've got some horrible wraith guards with the D-scythes that are in these these um, transports. We've got some uh, war walkers coming in. We've got all sorts of goodness happening here. Um, we've got a um, the old wraith lord at the back there. We've got some die avengers. We've got two units of um, three un two units rangers. We've got some the dreaded dark reapers. At the back there um, and then we've got my deployment here so we've got the masses and masses of plate bearers um, I'm playing Jonathan and this should be, this should be a uh, really fun game I'm looking forward to it um, it will be whether the masses can conquer the elites that would be the thing so in this mission uh, characters do get bonus points for basically scoring objectives if you can hold nothing with characters that benefits me massively with my all my characters so that gives me a little bit of a one up there um, but yeah, but I've done a really risky thing guys, I've given Jonathan first turn, um, which might be a bad idea, um, but I've kind of measured a few things out, and I'm not sure how much damage he can do, and I really want to do the counter, so it might be a massive mistake, but wish me luck as we go into turn one. Right guys, um, so we're just coming back at the end of game three at the uh, Scottish Takeover 2 and an awesome, awesome game against Jonathan. Right Jonathan, enjoy yourself? Yes. We're all in the background there. <laughs> yeah, enjoy yourself there, it was a good game? Yeah, it was actually, it was lovely. Yeah, that no, was cool. So, so basically, end of the game, it was another Nurgle victory, but it was a close cut thing. Um, it was 9 to 15 to the Nurgle army. Again, Mortarion put up a massive fight in the middle. It, it took Jonathan literally uh, two turns of solid shooting with Wraith Guard and all sorts to try and bring him down. Eventually he went down, um, but absolutely not without a fight. And uh, that was pretty much what, what helped me because it meant that he had to dedicate so much shooting to that. And the rest of my army just took objectives and became a nu nuisance as always. Um, so that was basically the story of the show. The story of the show. But um, other than that, you know, it was, uh, it was a great game. It was very, very close cut. At the end, Elders really started to swing it. Um, and Jonathan made a lot of key saves, in fact we both made a lot of key saves and my disgusting resilience was on form. Um, Jonathan, Jonathan is nodding yep. repeatedly. Really, um, really um, awesome. but, but yeah, really really good game, so that gives me um, two victories and one very close loss which will put me near the top of the tables tomorrow which will give me a good opportunity of potentially to of missing out on the uh, top players for the first game and with a good result in the first game I have all to play for in the final game of the tournament. Um, so exciting stuff guys, wish me luck as we go in to game four. Hi guys, welcome back to day two at the Scottish Takeover 2. Um, and I have a very cool game in store for me. I am taking on a full tank command with a super heavy shadow sword. Um, brutal stuff, tons of shooting, loads of Lehman Russes, loads and loads and loads of shots. Um, and obviously I have loads of bodies, so it should be a good little matchup. Um, Mortarion is an absolute big stick, but he has the tools to deal with him in a turn very very quickly um, the good news is guys I am going first um, I've already run the roll off and I've not been seized on which is tasty um, so we'll see what happens now um, and as we're going to first turn 
Right guys, so we come back at the end of game four um, and unfortunately it was a bit of a one-sided event. I got very, very lucky um, and it's just one of those things, sometimes you just get the rub of the dice. So I shouldn't have really did as well as I did, but Mortarian uh, managed to do his thing, he got in and also the decimators turn one Dispatch the Shadow Sword, which is statistically very improbable. I rolled so many damage twos and threes uh, that it took him out. Um, and that was pretty much the turning point. Mortarian got in with warp time, um, did some damage, and then kind of wrecked through with, with smites and everything else. Um, so yeah, it was an absolute uh, whitewash to the Nurgle Demons, but actually feel feel pretty bad because it's never nice when it's not a good game and that was not a good game. My dice were red hot um, and Astro Militarum uh, really, really struggled with rolling anything. Uh, we were laughing at one point because he couldn't even manage to kill uh, three bases of Nurglings with a Punisher Cannon, which physically really should be happening. Um, so never fun when you do that type of game, it's just one of those things. Uh, but it does give me pretty much max points um, and also play for as we go into the final game. Wish me luck guys, going in hot, we'll see what we can do. Right guys, we come back in game five, the final game of the tournament. We are on table one, as we kind of predicted, but um, we've got a tough game ahead of us. Um, so we're actually still sitting um, on fourth overall because of players matched. Um, and they've already played each other. I can't play, uh, they can't play each other, so it's, it's kind of meant that I've had to kind of step up and play uh, number one, which is fine. Um, we've got the right army to deal with it, and we are playing Innis, one of the um, ETC players. He's uh, one of the highest um, rated uh, Scottish players, so he will give me an absolute tough game, that is certain. He's got a really, really uh, wicked Alpha Legion army. Uh, it's pretty fit. We've got like berserkers in there that they're actually painted as Alpha Legion, which is really cool. It's got lots of shenanigans. I forced him back a little bit because he, his berserkers can't do the kind of trick where they're going to kind of jump in. But he's got so much speed, he's got warp time, he's still got um, warp talents to come in as well, they'll do damage, so yeah, he's got a really nasty list, he's got uh, five Malefic Lords in there as well, so, uh, four Malefic four Lords, Lords. Four, so not cheesy at all, it's not, not cheesy, so it's fine, exactly, exactly, so he, um, he's got a lot of psychers, he's got the Changeling in there, he's got lots of um, uh, Brimstone Horrors as you'd expect, um, so yeah, he's got a really, really good list, but it's very interesting, because it's not your kind of standard, it's um, it's quite balanced, it's got a lot of variety across there, and it can kind of hit you from lots of different angles, he's got some obliterators dropping in, um, so yeah, and, and non -surpri not surprising enough, he looks almost certain to take the title, uh, but we'll see what, we'll see what we can do, see if we can uh, put a dent in his record, we'll give it our best shot. We've got a very, very good army to take it on, um, so we'll see what happens, see if Mortarian can get the final laugh. Um, wish me luck guys, we're going to go in, game five, here we go. <laughs> Hi guys, I come back at the end of the last game, at the end of the last turn, at the end of the last uh, round. So. Uh, yeah, a very very fun game. Um, loads and loads left for the Nurgle. Take a lot of taking a lot of casualties. Very little left on the other side. Very little left at all. Um, but we have just missed out on this one. It was a 27 to a 34 victory for the Alpha Legion. Um, very very close game. In the end, basically Innis he, he took this centre ground, uh, scoring the bonus point on it every single round, which was what really stopped me from. Uh, from getting the points I needed. Decimators were absolute boss. Uh, the army did very well. Mortarian did exactly what he likes to do. He took a lot of skulls in the middle of the ball before eventually going down. But yeah, all in all, really good game. Yeah, enjoyed it. Thanks for the game, Innis. Yeah, it was absolutely fantastic. Yeah, it was good. Um, just a case of locking in combat, holding yeah. up the berserkers and stopping the to me, and then trolling the hell out of you with my two pets. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Both yeah. of us had fairly ineffective psychic phases. Like, I couldn't kill Mortarian, and you were only doing small bits here and there. Yeah. Um, you just had yeah, really Game overall, uh, time, yeah. and a, few, a couple of games out of the week could have been Yes, no, no, so it was good, good fun. Obviously, Innis is a quality player. He will go on and take the take the title, which is uh, good for him and well played. And um, we'll see how we we'll see how we end. Should end up on the podium with a really high scoring um, score on this uh, in this round. Um, but we'll see, and we'll come back to you at the end of the tournament. Which was great. Is I did come second, um, which was which was fantastic. Uh, the guy, uh, Gavin, um, who was kind of uh, competing for the second place position with me, he got absolutely smashed by Gordon's um, really cool all robot admech army, um, which was really, and he got first turn, so he alpha strike, strike him and he really caused a lot of damage, and meaning that um, because my game versus Innis was very, very close, um, I did pip him to second place. And what I will say is, um, I will give a little bit of a, um, 
you know, a, a tip the hat to, to Will, who technically did actually come second. Um, because he was the TO, um, he kind of knocked himself out of the podium places. Um, also, because he was the TO, um, he gave himself an easy, it wasn't an easy, um, but he gave himself a game outside of the, the top tables um, in the last round to make sure that the result of his game didn't influence the top tables. Um, so um, his game um, and his tournament, if you like, um, was, was even though he did very, very well and absolutely hats off to him and he, and he took on some of the best players, his was very much geared around um, making sure the tournament worked well. But, you know, hats off to him, he did very well, he scored a lot of points, um, and technically on points-wise, even though the matchups weren't necessarily reflective where he should have been playing, um, he still got, got second, so um, well done to him. And again, well done to Innes, um, really, really good ETC player um, that I took on in the last game. Um, congratulations, really, really solid list. And, uh, and 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 well done, yeah, very very well deserved. Uh, so yes, so he finished second, which was which was absolutely awesome. Really chuffed a bit to get the second place, but on top of that, which was the kind of icing on the cake for my Mortarian model, I got best painted model, which was which was really really cool as well. So very very proud of Mortarian. Um, he is the only thing that I've painted in the army, and um, so my army itself couldn't factor in for best army. Um, but great to get Mortarian to 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 get that um, that 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 prize. Um, so overall, incredible event for myself. Um, I think the uh, star performers were very much split between the decimators and Mortarian, they were the two real, real stars of the show. Um, the Decimators were incredibly great and they, they must have got their points back so many times over, which was fantastic. But Mortarian just did what he did and, and I've got to say, on the table, particularly in 8th edition, he is by far my most favourite unit to play with. Um, he's incredibly powerful, but I would say he's not broken powerful. Um, he died very early on in most games um, and, be, and he isn't he is very resilient uh, but with stuff that can kill stuff so effectively in 8th edition you know he's not that difficult to kill but what he does is he does soak up an awful lot of firepower before he goes down um, and if you don't have a lot of firepower you don't have a lot of psychic ability psychic offense um, he can still be um, an absolute game winner on his own um, so you know just, but just such an amazingly fun unit to play with. So if you've not had an opportunity and you kind of collect De Death Guard or you collect Demons, um, give him a go because he's just a ball to play with. He's so frightening on the ball. He's so quick. He's got so many different tricks. Um, yeah, he's he's really really good. Um, and he and he complemented my army incredibly well. But anyway, so that was the event. So hopefully you enjoyed the commentary. And what I would say is um, really do keep your eyes peeled because um, there will be a Scottish Takeover 3 um, and it will be a bigger event. Um, so this one was um, a sellout uh, as it was, um, but they're expecting to be able to put in quite a few more tables and it should be up at close to, if not definitely a, um, a GT event, a GT level event next time. Um, so I'd absolutely recommend, you know, if you fancy a trip up to Scotland and you fancy playing in a really well run, um, very, very core cool event, keep your eyes peeled uh, for the Scottish Takeover 3. Um, I very much hope that I'll be able to go back there. Um, it was a pleasure um, and Will and the team did a great job of hosting it, particularly as it was their second event. So it's a really, really well done. It was a pleasure to go to pleasure to play in um, and I really really loved it. So hope you enjoyed it guys. As I said in the beginning, please do like, comment and subscribe. It helps me absolute tons um, and if you want to support me further um, there is also um, a link to my Patreon um, page as well. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.